Morning guys, uh, Tuesday, day after my wife's birthday, she had a fantastic birthday, she really did, she had the family round, it was good, it really was good, uh, she got quite two good things, she really did, so I managed to be a good boy, I managed to buy her a handbag but I, could, I didn't pick it, she picked it, and a, and a, a laptop. Because you like to sit on YouTube and watch, right, I'm going to clear this area. It's just started to rain on me, actually. It just started to rain. Chickens want to come out like they're desperate to get out, so I'm now going to sort them and I'll show you if I do something. Oh, it's cold. Because we've got this wind again. That one's sorted. Look like there's another pepper or two peppers there. Right, let's crack on. Alright guys, I'm going to try and make an effort and go through this beet root. There's carrots next to it and all them. Look at the weeds, we hardly had any rain but they're just growing quicker than anything. As you can see guys, it's very hard work and the beet root are very hit and miss. But if I can get these done today and then try that one tomorrow, I don't know. That's getting hard work now. That's another thing I've noticed, some of my shallots are starting to go to seed. Yeah, just there, look. I thank all of you for commenting, wishing the old girl a happy birthday. <laughs> she don't do it too bad for her age, I tell you that. I don't know what I'll do with that. Here come my little friend, look. They know as soon as they start moving, the bloomin' ground they're about. On me, the plot is looking good, but my plot shouldn't be like this. I've got some, just brought some greens down to get in the ground, but I don't know. And I've also got some winter seeds I want to put in for Christmas for collies and sprouts. But we're trying to do well, the old girl's got me doing a bit of um, we're trying to spend more time away. Ah. You don't believe it, just as we uh sit down and have a cup of coffee and start to rain. Oh, it's hard work, this is boom dry the ground. Boom dry, look at that, the weeds are horrendous. But I managed to get through. Yeah, managed to get through. Gone through these carrots. Only it managed to pull one up. Got the hoof this lot out. That one's no good. No good, no good. Yeah, sort this out. Sort this out. <sighs> Sunshine is trying to come out. Right, off we go. Right guys, we're now going on. So, I managed to push pull through this lot. Collies have had it, some of the cabbages now are in the last days. That's all done, that's done there. I've gone through these carrots, I'm trying to go through there without cutting the tops off. The dog don't want to go anywhere. I've slowly managed to get through this. As you can see the beet root hit and miss, but I have got some to replant. I've got three rows of carrots, I didn't realise there's a row in the middle of them. In there there should be uh, turnips and a swede. I think it's swede over there. But I've got to bring some more French beans down because I've actually cut one. Right, so strimmer out though. Need to get my strimmer going more. Got gooseberries on, what's the name? Cherries on the trees. Right, as you can see, we need some rain. Right, guys, bye for now. Take care, everybody. Stay happy. Morning, guys. Uh, it's Thursday morning. We had a day away yesterday, we, we had loads of things to do, so uh, as soon as you have a day away, the weeds get even bigger. Uh, so I'm moving the chickens today, and then I'm going to hopefully, my strimmer will start. Uh, but I think I'm going to have to have a doctor have a look at my ankle or have an x-ray. I think I've uh, worn my joint out totally. I'm in a lot of pain. So, hello. That's, that's a bit late. <laughs> so the old girl, that was her birthday. Monday, I think that's Maggie this is. Right guys, 
Uh, as you can see, it's in a bit of a mess because I've had to rest a lot. Had to rest. But, sweet corn, look at the sweet corn. Just doesn't look good there. We'll get there, John's no car now. I'm only here till half past 12, so we're gonna crack on. Right guys, I've moved them into this smaller area where I have already raked it over and that. I've got a couple of good cabbages left, but they'll be used, but the collies are blown quick. So I'll let them scrub, they'll love this lot. So there's mealy worms. Give them a bit of protein, build them up a bit, I do. Right, dwarf broad beans, I've got to put some in <laughs> to replace the ones I've cut and that. And I didn't have enough to go, so I'm going to just stick a row in there and if they come through I'll, I'll move them up here. But I can guarantee a corner jack with lots of mice, so they'll probably go. Trees looking good, but look at the grass. Straight after this swimmer, if I can get it started. Right, there's a load of dwarf beans in there and something to run along there where they're not very good. Water now. Right oh guys, I managed to go down all that edge, done some of the bottom, done all that side over there. I've got the middle bit to do, but I've got to replace the uh, blade. So, very quiet up here. I'm really sorry you're picking wind up, it's been hard because spring onions are coming along big time, which is good. Now, this is what you don't want. This is, guys, what you don't want. You get that, the heart of that red onion has had it. The best thing to do is either pull them up, chop them up, and freeze what you can. Because uh, they won't store, they won't keep garlic, elephant garlic here and all. Oh, normal garlic. Oh, that's a better size than that one. I'm starting to go yellow, so I could be digging up soon. These are the leeks I put in the other day, and I, oh, sorry about this. And I look like they've uh, kicked along. Right. Back on because there's uh, lots of people who watch and see. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I don't know. I wonder what you're doing. Sometimes people up here, they do. I just like to keep the news on you. I hate to say. I've been told I mustn't video nobody. <sighs> yeah, you can forget that one. Somebody's uh, giving me grief, marvin at me. I'll record it. There will be evidence. Come to the day. When I come to the day. Right, spots are looking good. Big piece missing in the middle. They're looking alright, these are. As you can see, I'll put some grass in. I need raking up. I need some more for this. These are my tubs. Look at them. They are really looking good, but we're going to desperately need some rain. We really are. This is the, the climbing beans. They're not liking it at all. They might kick on. I think I've got some more. I'm going to have to put a couple of beans in by the side of them. Gooseberries. Well, they are gooseberries on there, actually. And considering they're supposed to be black gooseberries. Someone's telling me porkies. Courgettes. More dwarf French beans. Just put some spares in there. This tub is going to need a big water. That's the section I need to do, but I'm going to change the head. Right, ah, oh, there. Got some spare tomato plants. I'm going to bury in here over this side. Oh, dear. My bag is gone now, so I'm going to have to know. Oh, we're not old, we're getting old. As you can see, Tomato plants got a good root on. <sighs> Needed to go in. These are called lawn keep. That's just I got them because I read up that you harvest them when they're green. You put them in a tray wrapped in paper, and when you want them, you you apparently just take them out of the tray and put them near a banana or something, and they ripen up. So that's it worth a try, guys. There's five lawn keep burpees. So we'll see. Right, the sun's now coming out. I've got to water these up and get going. Alright guys. That's them watered in. 
Oh, <laughs> Dan, they drive me mad up here sometimes. They make you laugh. <laughs> they make you laugh. They really do. I'm not I'm surprised I've got anything done today. Oh, yeah. So, the chickens have been in there scrubbing around. I've had a good, uh, good old time. I've got a couple of cabbages, cabbages left, but then what's the name? Parsnips. I need to get these weed heads, them seeds, them. Because if you allow the, what I did the other year, I allowed too many to go to seed, and that, all that did was put more onto my plot. So I'm trying to keep on top. <laughs> ah, there. Now that one. That's not good. Sorry about this guys. So, so I've had to stop swimming today because the angle. There you go, another one. These are going to be harvested early. I'm going to start to get some ground back. These look like they're going yellow tops. These I wanted to keep. I want them to bulb out a bit more. Yeah, they are bulbing out. For onions, pick my onions. But I can only do so much in one day. Really can. I've got to get that bottom end done. Right. Got to get some more petrol from the strimmers. See, that's what the chickens love. Happy chickens, look at them. Right, my radish is in this area, they've gone so I'm going to put some more in, but my radish is in the polytunnel, they've gone blooming mad. I'd better leave this up in a bit now. Put some oil up there, water that. Check these. Now these are, I believe, all year round college, right? Sort this out. Just gone through my strawberries, weeded through them. I've got an ant's nest under there somewhere. Yeah, got a hole there where we should. Oh, I tell you, there's an abundance of ants this year. I've just felt through this tub, and they are actually <laughs> slowly drying them out. I better put some water in now, I suppose. Right, guys. Jack doing his chickens. He's stuffing, I can see he's eating. Oh, that look a little bit better, the path, dude. Oh, I'm gonna have to sort these leaks out. And I've been through the parsnips a bit. The chickens have got the new area. The carrots, I've been through them. Just need to get this. I weeded through this a few weeks ago. I need to cut my grass possibly on and bring it back down. Get this lot. Look at that. Look at three rows of carrots here. I'll put some beans in here. Dwarf beans. And I've got a few dwarf beans over there with courgettes. So, we're up and running. Gooseberries on there. We're supposed to be black gooseberries, but obviously they're not. Morning, guys. Friday morning. Uh, what a... I don't know, I don't know. Cloud as you can see. Right, well my main task is today is to try and get my water bag, get my swimmer going and get this lot done, get this sort. Oh bugger, bugger look. Uh, that's not broken, it's not broken. Right, oh, this one there go. Right guys. Oh look at them, homemade they are. My old mate Bobby's now going, he's here, I'll take them. <laughs> the trouble is, I can't eat them, they're too sweet. Guys, I've managed to strim all the way down. It took, it took hours. It really has just killed me. That was really killing me. I can hardly walk now. Oh, my wife is going to go bloody ballistic at me. Yeah, it's looking a lot better. There you go, Jack. It's easy, man. There you go. Oh, sorry, I've got three cabbages left, but the chickens like this area, see, because they can scrap in it. Right, now the swimming's done, I'll be weeding. I think what I'll do is I'll start through this section tomorrow, work my way towards there. I've got cabbages and uh, 
collies and stuff to go in that end there in that section. The tubs, I don't know why, but these tubs here, which I actually done earlier, are looking like they've had the day. So I will possibly tip them for some new potatoes. Uh, what's going on here? Because I have to watch this because the cat's getting here. I like to lay down. Look like I need some water. Let's see if I can find some radishes. Uh, I haven't watered up in here today because I'm, I'm trying to uh, <laughs> I'm actually trying to do other things. Look, mare's tail in here, and I had a membrane in the bottom. Don't believe it, would you? eat them before they get home actually. You need to take them from the middle bit so the others get a chance to grow. I don't mind them little. No, that one's going to be eaten before I get them. So they're going to need a real good old fire of water. That's enough. A basil there, shop bought basil I put in. I bring it and put it in. So uh, it, the smell, I find, helps the old tomatoes. I suppose. I'll keep my eyes out for ants, as you can see, there's, there's a tomato plant there, it's self seeded. But they are starting to grow. My cucumbers are going to be slow. They'll go right to the top and then I'll try and spread them left, right. All right, off we go. Stay safe, everybody. And uh, be happy. Bye for now.